this is Aristotle saying, if you want to have a tyranny, this is how you do it. For the preservation of a tyranny, insofar as this is possible, viz that the tyrant should lop off those who are too high, in other words, anybody that's in competition with him, <laughs> he must put to death men of spirit. Now, in the 21st century, there are different ways of putting people to death. And what's happened to Julian Assange is a form of putting him to death, as is blocking people off from and shadow banning them and preventing them from taking part in what is now the real marketplace of ideas. It is the equivalent of going to a pub and having, you know, conversations or talking to people. This is where you do business. This is where you get contacts. So to block people from being in, on social media and blocking free press, you are essentially annihilating, executing people from society. So people should really think about this. This is one of the reasons why I'm praying that Donald Trump really makes some reforms, makes these big corporations. Sorry, I'm completely interrupting myself, but I just want people to really, really focus on that. And if they feel that it's true, God, man, you just got to kick and push to make people wake up and realize that they are being, in effect, annihilated if they're blocked and shadow banned or whatever. Anyway, let me go on. Um, he must put to death men of spirit. He must not allow common meals, clubs, education, and the like. He must be upon his guard against anything which is likely to inspire either courage or confidence amongst his subjects. He must prohibit literary assemblies or other meetings for discussion. And he must take every means to prevent people from knowing one another for acquaintance begets mutual confidence. Further, he must compel all persons staying in the city to appear in public and live at his gates. Then he will know what they are doing. If they are always kept under, they will learn to be humble. In short, he should practice these and the like Persian and barbaric arts, which all have the same object. A tyrant should also endeavor to know what each of his subjects says or does and should employ spies like the female detectives of Syracuse and the eavesdroppers from Hero was in the habit of sending to any place or resort or meeting. For the fear of informers prevents people from speaking their minds. And if they do, they are more easily found out. Another art of the tyrant is to sow quarrels among the citizens. Friends should be embroiled with friends, the people with the notables and the rich with one another. Also, he should impoverish his subjects. He thus provides against the maintenance of a guard by the citizen and the people. Having to keep hard at work are prevented from conspiring. It's awesome. It's, that's the whole thing. Right there.